Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Litter Media Live. This is the uh, winter snow edition on uh, Friday, January the 19th. I'm Mike Smith, along with Aaron Glandon, and uh, we had our um, dog sleds get us here today. Yeah, huskies, six you, of them. You came off the, uh, the hill, and how was it? It wasn't bad. I thought it was going to be bad, but then you texted me, and you said, drove by the hill, it's clear. So I said, ah, got to go to work. The uh, the freeways are good. They're not completely clear, uh, but um, probably by this afternoon they will be clear. Uh, most of the snow is kind of tapered off to flurries, and I think that's all we're going to see uh, as far as the rest of the afternoon and evening. Um, I'm guessing in Frankfurt that we had at least three, maybe four, three and a half inches at least, because I went out and shuffled my my driveway there could be other areas within our viewing audience that said hey we don't we didn't get nearly that much or we got more than that Mm -hmm. the problem moving forward is going to be the temperature tomorrow so i'm sure the road crews which have already done a spectacular job will be hard at it this afternoon trying to clear as much as they can because the weather says that the temperatures will drop into the teens for a high and single digits for an overnight low. So whatever's on the road will freeze. Right. So that's why you're going to see them hard at it probably today. They call them the road warriors. Uh, The winter weather advisor remains in effect until 1 a.m. tomorrow or Saturday morning. But again, we think most of the heavy snow will end um, any time now through early afternoon. And it'll just be like... Uh, light snow or flurries after that. So that is what we're looking for. Uh, We'll talk more about the weather as our top story coming up on the topics here in just a little bit on Litter Media Live. Accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing, your trusted comfort advisor. Uh, Heating, of course, is what we're thinking about today. But, you know, on these real Arctic cold temperature days and nights, there's... There's that nasty thing that happens sometimes when your water lines burst. Yep. Have you ever had that happen? No, thankfully, but doesn't it, sound fun. It is not fun. We have had that, thank God, only once or twice in our uh, my wife and I's married life. But if that happens, Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing are the folks you want to call, whether it's heating, cooling, or plumbing. News next. Wherever you are, you're there for a reason. You shouldn't have to make a trip to the branch just to deposit a check. Skip the trip and use our mobile app to easily and securely deposit checks from your phone. Day or night, wherever you are, or whatever you're doing, download the Kingston National Bank mobility app today. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Nickelodeon Ultra. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. Find a career you love with Pick Away Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pick Away Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Mike Smith and Aaron Glandon back with you on this uh, Friday edition of uh, Litter Media Live. And obviously the weather is the top story today. Well, it hasn't been the worst of winter storms, but the early morning snowfall of about three to four inches closed all area schools. We're talking about every county contiguous to Ross and some beyond. Uh, There was also uh, levels two uh, snow emergencies that were in effect for Ross, Pike, Jackson, Scioto, Vinton, and Athens. Uh, To my knowledge, I have not seen anybody that's been level three. When you get to level three, you're, you're, you're not supposed to be on the roads, period. You could be arrested for being out there unless you are considered essential service or first responder or law enforcement. Mm. Uh, Level two is where they recommend if you don't have to drive. Don't do it. Yeah, stay in. 
stay in. And again, unless your, your job requires it, but uh, we're not at level three, but if we ever got there, some of you remember that some get a little fuzzy in there. Well, I don't remember what level level three is your, your, your home level two. If you don't have to travel, don't now, as we were talking on the weather, we didn't have any problems getting in, but we're pretty sure that most of the counties that have a level two, it's for the rural areas. Right. County and township. Because you took right. 35 here, right? Yes. I'm okay. sure 550 wouldn't have been as, as good. Right. Uh, Frankfurt, Clarksburg, Pike um, was good. I mean, it was plowed and sanded, but there was, then, you know, there was snow on it. So mm. uh, for those of you out in the rural areas, that level two is most likely uh, for you folks. But again, uh, winter weather advisory in effect until 1 a.m. tomorrow, but we think most of the heavier snow is done by uh, early to mid-afternoon. The Ohio Power Siding Board has approved an agreement allowing AEP Ohio to construct the new Althea Sweet Gum 138 kilovolt transmission line, which is about two miles south of Wheelersburg. Now, this line will run about three miles along AEP's preferred route between the existing Sweet Gum substation on the north end and the Althea substation on the south end. Now, this new transmission line is part of a larger set of projects designed to upgrade the transmission system in Scioto County. Same uh, news article, but a different story. In Pickaway County, the uh, what was known as the Scioto Farms Solar Project that was pretty much looking like it was going to be given the green light. Well, the developers of that solar project have told the uh, power siding board we're withdrawing our certificate. So as it appears right now, that particular project is, is being withdrawn. Mm. They're not going to do it. Now, there are already some... Uh, solar projects and, and uh, farms already set up in northern Ross and southern Pickaway County, but this one, known as the Scioto Farm Solar Project, they have withdrawn their permit application, or at least for the time being. Ohio's natural wonders are something, obviously, that you're out wanting to look at today. Maybe a lot of you are out taking pictures, but uh, we just want you to know that no ice is safe ice. That, according to ODNR. While frozen lakes, ponds, and rivers may be alluring to outdoor explorers, ice is never 100% safe, and state safety officials urge outdoor enthusiasts to stay alert. Have you ever broken through the ice on a pond or anything? No, I have not. Have you? Not all the way through. <laughs> Sounds like there's a story here. We, we used to play ice hockey, my brother and cousins, and, and we had a, a little, it wasn't very deep. I think it was like two feet deep, mm. which was great because it helped freeze faster. Right. But we were out on that one day, and it was thawing out to where when you, when you skated across the ice, you could see the ice like a wave. Well, I think Cousin Bruce finally fell through, but it was only like, it wasn't even knee deep, so nothing to fear about. But on a serious note, I can remember when I came on board with Litter Media three years ago, there was a, a drowning uh, that involved a young boy, and there was a death involving a first responder. He had a, a medical emergency while trying to save the boy. That was over at Rocky Fork. So uh, be very careful. Stay, Stay off the ice. Me. Yeah, unless you know absolutely for certain i think it's supposed to be like several inches thick before you even try to get out on that join the photography workshop series at uh, arts around gallery on west main street in circleville we had um, the arts around uh, director in probably a, a month or two ago talking about this while well, just reminding you that the first session is photography basics and that already happened january 16th but the photo comparison composition. or composition, pardon me, is February 6th. Now, do you understand what these terms mean? Yeah, it's like uh, the rule of thirds is photo composition. So if I missed the 16th, can I still benefit by going oh, to the yeah, next one? For sure. Okay. So even though you missed the 16th, you still got the 6th. And then the photo editing basics that will be on february the 27th i think maybe the litter media crew needs to go out there as a field trip uh 
especially you guys that, that you and Dan. <laughs> well, maybe you can learn how to take You're the cameraman. I've just got this iPhone that I take. They don't trust me with anything valuable. Uh, but you want to uh, make sure you call Arts Around as soon as possible because the class space is limited. Is there a phone this. number on there? Um, I think if you use Google, okay. Arts Around in Circleville. Uh, you'll get, I think what they told us in the past, you'll get a voicemail because there's no one there, right. you know, 24 seven. There's an address. You can send them a letter. Yeah. Uh, if it gets there <laughs> in time before the event comes up, might, might just call and give them a voicemail. Pickaway County point in time count will be conducted January 23rd, where Pickaway County Community Action Commission manually counts the homeless population in order to apply for funds to assist these people get off the streets and into shelters or other type of care. Now, the Picka shelter at 911 South Pickaway Street, and I just drove by there last night, uh, they'll be gathering and providing a free meal with supplies to anyone needing shelter on January the 23rd, and I believe that starts at 8 p.m. Now, in Fairfield County, they're having their point and uh, count date on uh, the 24th, which is the very next day. Buckeye Lake in Fairfield County will conduct their Winterfest Art and Coffee Crawl starting at 7 a.m., and that is a week from tomorrow. January 27th. You can find this on their Facebook site to get more information. You ever been to a crawl of any kind? Um, On on IWU's campus, we had a cookie crawl where every residence hall would have a type of cookie. And so you'd walk around all the dorms and you'd Mm -hmm. get different kinds of cookies. So you're not really crawling. No. (laughs) I hear about, you know, we promote all these crawls, but I, to be honest with you, I don't know that I've ever been to one. Sounds like a good date idea though. That's a thought. If Laura and I were crawling, we'd never get off our hands or knees. We're too old, yeah. The annual Ohio Student Wildlife Research Symposium is approaching for students around the state. It's open to teachers currently conducting research related to wildlife and or wildlife habitat with middle and high school students, and it's also open to the middle or high school students involved in wildlife-related research. Now, the student proposals are due February 1st, so if you want to participate in this, you need to get online right now. But as you can see, this will be held in April. Again, the projects are due on February 1st, but the event is April 11th at Salt Fork State Park Lodge. And the best thing, it's free for the students. Pickaway County Business Continuity Planning Workshop is coming to the Ohio Christian University Business Center on February 20th, March the 5th, and March the 19th. Three-day events, or three different dates, and that is from 1 to 3.30 p.m. each of those dates. You can contact the Pickaway Chamber of Commerce for more information. I think Dan Ramey said he was going to be there on one of those dates, if I'm not mistaken. So that is what's making headlines Again, you can find most of these stories on our website at littermedia.com, including the big weather story this morning and uh, all of that, including sports that we'll be talking about ahead here on Litter Media Live. Scioto Valley Dumpsters, I saw Carl Gerhardt uh, not only talking about dumpsters, but he also was out uh, plowing some snow, I think, this morning. Uh, it wasn't even the sunrise yet, and Carl said, we're, we're already out here and about. But if you need a dumpster for any kind of a project in and around your property, give them a call. Free estimates at 253-8389. Each week, Litter Media presents the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Player of the Week. If you have an athlete to nominate, any amateur athlete is eligible. Simply visit littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. At the end of the year, we'll announce the Player of the Year. Make your nominations now at littermedia.com. Click on Player of the Week. Now that's one fast mower. Take command of your lawn with Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower.
are you chuckling about? We have a ton of people watching today. I, it, as I was telling Dan, every time the weather's lousy, we get more listeners or viewers than we ever have. I think they're waiting on Aaron or I to, to get up like on the weather map and point out the storm that's coming. And as you can see, the sun, it's the storm is moving away, folks. So hopefully the worst is behind us. Let's take a look at sports. In the final home swim meet, Chillicothe took first in both the boys' and girls' divisions at the Ross County YMCA Thursday. Top performers in the boys' meet were Chillicothe's Thomas Kessler and Unioto's Keegan Fisk, who tallied 12 points each for their respective teams. Now, on the girls' side, Logan Elms' Lindsey Bright, and uh, I believe that's uh, Rihanna Cunningham for Chillicothe, scored 12 points each. Now, I think you were there. Yes, you were there. I was there. there. You're not in the pool. You were no. taking pictures. Yes, yeah. yeah. Now, was it? Did your glasses get steamed up because of the heat coming all the water? They didn't. I kind of expected them to, but they did not. Okay. I wasn't insinuating they were steaming up because of the ladies in the pool. I didn't think you were. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was just trying to, for our audience out there, trying to keep it clean. Yeah. High school basketball on the circuit last night. You can find all of these scores at littermedia.com. But some of the highlights: a non-conference boys basketball game, Uniota beat Circleville. 63-49. Three players in that game each had 21. Zeke Schobelock and Blake Hoops of Unioto and Briley Kramer of Circleville had 21. On the girls' side, uh, one of the big matchups you'll see, if you look down to the TVC, Athens girls lost in conference for the first time this season, losing to River Valley 47-43. to Now, a lot of questions about tonight. Some of the games for this evening, we're getting uh, postponements that are starting to come in. Our Litter Media Radio Game of the Week is scheduled to be Zane Trace at Westfall. Thus far, we've not heard anything on that, but a game that you were going to attend tonight because of Paint Valley Hall of Fame night with Unioto, that game has been postponed. And when did I say? February 9th? February 9th is when that was postponed too. So Unioto Paint Valley, that game has been postponed. I'm sure there'll be more games throughout the course of the day. Just keep watching our Litter Media um, X, or formerly known as Twitter. We'll have those posted once we hear of any game that's being postponed. Our now broadcast game again. If that game gets moved to tomorrow, which there was some talk about that, we'll do it whether it's an afternoon or, or an evening game. So just keep watching our litter Twitter, as we used to call it, or X, and we'll get you more information. Yesterday on the pregame show for that uh, Zane Trace uh, Westfall game, we were talking about Logan Elm uh, High School. They also have their Hall of Fame uh, night, or actually day. That's going to be tomorrow afternoon. I think ceremonies get underway around 1.30, and the uh, Doug Stiverson, a retired uh, boys basketball coach at Logan Elm, he's a legend. Uh, he's going into the hall. Brandon Amon, uh, former All-Ohioan uh, basketball player. Uh, you might remember the 93-94 girls basketball team that got to the Final Four. Had um, really got to know those kids and Clayton Starr, their coach, because at that time I was working at WKKJ, and we started uh, broadcasting, picking up Logan Elm girls in the, in the district and followed them all the way up to the state tournament. They got beat in the semifinals, but Adina girls went the same year, and they won it all. Mm. So we had a a double treat getting to follow both of those girls' teams. One other note about that Hall of Fame induction, Bob Butts will be getting the Award of Merit, so you can find all that information on our website at littermedia.com. Once Paint Valley has their Hall of Fame ceremony on that rescheduled February 9th game instead of tonight. You'll have a story on that I will. at that time. One other sports note, uh, the Pike County YMCA will be opening their men and women's pickleball league the evening of February the 20th. This is beginning to grow like crazy, not only around here, but all across the country. Pickleball, which is not a new sport, but it's... It's becoming more well-known to people that hadn't heard about it. And you've never played, right? I've, I've seen it, especially down in Florida, but I've never played it. It's fun. I have two paddles in the trunk of my car. We could go play right now. <laughs> I don't think we'd get much bounce off the snow. We go to Yachtangy Park and go play. <laughs> I think it's probably too snowy. 
maybe a little warm up there. Uh, but that's for the Pike County YMCA. It's a men and women's adult league. If you want to get more information, give them a call. Ross County, we had a story uh, a couple of weeks ago about their um, – they have somebody there, I think, that uh, will kind of give you the ABCs of uh, pickleball, but I think there might be a league starting there as well. When we come back, it's been an entertainment week concerning this date in history. Yes, ass. And I, you blew my mind when you said you've never seen this show. It's before my time. I know, but it's on reruns everywhere. But we're going to talk about it. 1953, Lucy. Uh, and something special will happen to her on this date, all coming up on Litter Media Live. At Rathcamp Financial, we act as your advocate in all wealth matters. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. Our greatest satisfaction comes from working with clients for many years and helping them realize their dreams. This is Andy Tomlinson. When ensuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Whenever I first applied for the Archways opportunity, oh, do I have to pay this back? Do I have to do that? Like, is it a loan? And it's not, it's a scholarship. A goal of mine is to graduate college debt free. If you're a crew member, you get 2,500 a year. And if you're a manager, you get 3,000. And especially if you're going locally to college, like to the branch or something like that, it's really helpful. You haven't had vodka soda like this. No one has. Made with the world's smoothest vodka plus real juice. New White Claw Vodka Soda. Uh, just uh, every once in a while, we'll give a shout out to people. Uh, I mean, I can't believe the, the folks that are watching. Amy Morris Kern, David Rawlins, David Halcom, Frank Conklin, Buddy Atkins, Nate Gerald. Nate, we're coming out there to watch your team if you get a play. Patricia Thacker, uh, Lois Coons, Anita Peterson, uh, gr your grandma, my aunt Ruth, Jeff Donahue, Dan Rainey Sr., who the heck is that? Uh, Paul Beal, Bria Alley, Amy Thomas, your mom, Terry Sellers, uh, Sellers, I'm sorry, and Becky Wilson, just among those who have been tuned in this morning. Amy Thomas and, and my grandma? Uh, your aunt and your mom. Why are they just watching it together? Maybe they are. <laughs> they, but maybe on two separate accounts. Yeah. Uh, for, of all the schools that closed today because of the weather, and it was everybody, Adina was already out because of a student. Uh, it was teacher something day. I can't remember. Teacher work day. But the students were already out. So the kids are thinking, this is a chip. We were already yeah. going to be out. So anyway, this date in history, <clears throat> 1953, in one of the most widely publicized births in TV history, actress and comedian Lucille Ball welcomes her second child at Los Angeles Cedars of Lebanon uh, on the same night, this, and I didn't know this, on the same night, Lucy Ricardo, her character on the hit TV show, I Love Lucy, also gives birth. The Lucy goes to the hospital episode, which is in season two, drew more viewers than any TV episode up to that date. At least 67% of American households were watching CBS to watch the birth of little Ricky. Now, that's the TV character. But that night, in real life, Desi Arnaz Jr., the son of Desi Sr., who you saw earlier sitting with Lucy, he also was born at 8 pounds and 1 ounce. Now, I remember very well watching the episode. I wasn't around for the first edition, 1953, at the rerun. But I didn't know she actually gave birth to her son, Desi Jr., that same night. Hmm. So try fitting that into your TV schedule where it just works out that way. Yeah. The amazing thing that, of this, you've told me you have never seen an episode of I Love Lucy. No. Joe and Amy, I don't know what you did, but you really failed. I've seen Andy Griffith. <laughs> that's, I know, I know that's Andy important. Griffith. That's important. But how in the world have you never seen an episode, not even an episode nope. of I Love Lucy? I couldn't even tell you Lucy's last name until just now. <clears throat> have you ever seen Crocodile Dundee? Uh, no, but I know more about that than I love Lucy. Okay. 
in the first Crocodile Dundee, when he comes to New York, it's like he uh, he's up in the the the, the, the Plaza Hotel, and she's uh, the gal is telling about the the TV Linda Kozlowski, who is in real life later becomes his wife. She says, yeah, that's the TV. Are you familiar with that? And he turns it on. And I Love Lucy's coming on. He said, yep, same show I saw 20 years ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Aaron, we got to we gotta do something. Well, I you, told buddy. you before the show, I, when I was in L.A., I had my classes at the studio lot that they filmed I Love Lucy. I would think that alone would make your curiosity peak. So at least you look up at least one episode to watch it. Nope. They had a big, like still images on billboards yeah. like out posted outside the lots where you could see t- like screenshots of the yeah. episode i mean lucy splain that was desi senior on the show when he, he would be trying to get lucy to, s- to explain something because he had very he was cuban uh, a cuban american <laughs> His English was not really great. Splain Lucy. <laughs> I mean, those those are iconic. But we gotta we gotta do something to get you uh, more exposed to some culture in this country. But you said you do like baseball. So I do like baseball. You you saved me on my uh, my faith there. You saved me that you like baseball. America's pastime. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, movie uh, segment for Friday morning. You said you saw a movie, but you can't talk about it because your mother will hit you if, if she knew you watched it. I can't recommend I didn't even think it was that good. Okay. But everybody's been talking about how crazy this movie is. It's called Saltburn. It was all right. Yeah, never never heard of it. Uh, of course, uh, what was it? Of course, the Emmys were on, but the Golden Globes were on here. I, I used to watch award shows, but here lately, because of all the – Hollywood politic baloney. I got so sick of that. I, I don't even watch a lot of the award shows yeah. uh, anymore. I missed the Oscars last year because I was in the desert. The desert? I was in the desert. We were shooting a Western. Really? What yeah. desert was that? It was in California. I don't know the name of the desert. It was cold because it was windy. Nighttime? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we started in the day and it went Wait a minute. Night. You weren't on the set of Rust by any chance. <laughs> no, I was not. Did you have a gun in your hand no. when, you were, we had prop- when you were shooting this scene? <laughs> we had prop guns, but they didn't even have holes on the end. So. Ah, okay. Well, for those of you who've been following uh, Alec Baldwin's, I guess they're talking about charging him eventually. They, they dropped the charges, and now they're going to maybe charge him again. He mm. might have been culpable in that uh, fatal shooting on that. So that's going to wrap it up. Again, keep watching our Litter uh, X or Litter Twitter site today for any ball game cancellations. We, we told you about a few that have already started trickling in. As far as we know, our game of the week on the radio is still on. If that changes, we'll let you know there and uh, change our plans for what we're going to be doing. So. Until that time, for Aaron Glenn, and this is Mike Smith saying have a great weekend, everyone. Be careful out there on the roadways. Remember that winter weather advisory in effect until 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. For all of us at Litter Media Live, have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the radio.